Good evening, Source Nation, and welcome to Millennial Empowerment with your host, Destiny Hicks. You know, we're here again Friday trying to inspire, impact, and encourage. So I'd like to talk to you all this week about a particular topic within the the world today, the process. I watched a video on Facebook the other day, and it was this young lady talking about the process and how she had just quit her job, you know, a year ago. It was a great job, but she wasn't happy. She broke a contract, all that, because she had to find her place of happiness. She was a year later without a job, but she was like, the process sucks. Like, and it does, I mean, if we really look at life, man, life is one of those things that constantly has you on your toes. Like, if you could really be honest, if you could really take the time to think about all the things that have been going on day to day and all the situations that you face, you're like, man, do I really want to do this? Or do I really want to deal with this struggle today? Or do I really want to fight that battle today? So I'm here tonight to encourage someone to hold on. Self-care is necessary during the process, though, because if you're not taking care of you, if you're not nurturing yourself, then no growth can take place. You can't flourish if you don't nourish. And so we have to look at things like that when we want to be good to people. We can't be good to nobody if we're not good to ourselves. And I know I said that last week. You cannot be good to anything if you're not any good to yourself. And so I want to take this time to talk about my next blog because I want to talk about self-care in my next blog, but tonight in particularly. Um, we're going to really, really delve into this process. Um, and why do I feel like self-care is necessary? Self-care is necessary simply because self-care is sometimes looked at as a selfish way of doing things, the way we live in life. But however, self-care has nothing to do with being selfish. Self-care has something to do with your inside. And if you're okay, then you can be okay on the outside. But if you're not okay and you're saying that you're okay on the outside, you are going to be weighed down and burdened down each and every day of your life. And every time you, you go at something, every time you try to really uh, take one step forward, you're only going to be taking three steps back because you cannot effectively move forward until you deal with the things that are behind you. Um, with that being a topic tonight, I want to share a story. So I met this young lady before that was going through a struggle, but she felt like because her struggle was never asked about and because her struggle was something that people usually frown upon, she didn't want to talk to anyone about it, and she didn't want to do self-care. She just continued to be that person that was the reason she continued to be that person that encouraged and she continued to be that person that people could depend on and people could lean on, all these different things. And I believe that people sometimes tend to think about the fact that uh, um, people care, but not enough sometimes. People don't truly care about you until they see that you care about you. You set the tone. You set the groundwork for anybody else. So how you treat you is how they're going to treat you. And how you allow them to treat you, what you accept one time, will now become a long-term phase and a long-term effect of what's going on. I want to start with this tonight. I want to uh, tell you how this road of, fighting her struggle alone and not dealing with the self-care part of this, she almost committed suicide. Now, in a world where suicide is a thing, now, like, it's an epidemic, people, young people, teenagers, millennials, uh, what is it, Gen Z, Gen X, whatever it may be, these people are struggling, and that's why uh, Millennial Empowerment is that show that 
is going to talk about real issues. I'm sorry that the black community shuns depression and makes you think that you're crazy to say that you're not okay. But I want to encourage somebody tonight that if you're not okay, say you're not okay. If you feel like you're in a place where you feel like you are on edge and you know that you are not right and you don't know why and you don't know why you can't figure out the answers, I want to encourage someone tonight to understand that you are not in this fight alone, people are dealing with real things in America, and we have to understand and recognize our true wealth is our peace of mind, and our true wealth is our self-care, and our true wealth is being the best us that we can be. Y'all, I'm telling you, man, I, I just made a really big decision, and I had to make it, I had to make it based on me. I couldn't look at what nobody else was going to say. I couldn't look at how everybody else was going to feel. I had to truly do this thing for me. I I was in a place where I was listening to this story and listening to that story. I had a co the other day. He said, Destiny, so what do you really want to do? I see that you have all of these assumptions and all these people's opinions and all these things. He said, do you even hear your own self? And I said I got to a point where I couldn't focus on hearing me because why would I want to focus on hearing me when I have so many people depending on me to do something great, to do something good, to, to do it this way. And I became that voice of reason for so many other people that people don't even ask me, how are you? Because I'm so busy asking, how are you? I, I, I can't I can't seem to wrap my mind around how uh, – how you can find that groundwork and uh, find that balance, but I could I couldn't at one point. I couldn't find that balance. I couldn't do what I needed to do to to really find that groundbreaking. I know this is what I need to do. This is how I'm going to fix it. I'm, I know I, I don't care what they say. I don't do that. I actually cared what they said. And so I'm like, man, if I make this decision, then they're probably going to be like, yeah, you know, I figured she was going to do that. Or if, you, if I make this decision, they're going to be asking too many questions. And I had to tell myself, girl, if you don't shut up and stop worrying about what other people are thinking about you and be happy for you, if that means moving to a different state, that means not staying where you currently are, if that means that you are going to be happy, you forfeit that because your happiness is everything that you need. If you have a peace of mind, you can sense effectively. If you're in a toxic situation, if you're in a place where you're not happy, you're not being fulfilled, you're in a place that's depressing, and you, and you wake up every day doing the same routine each and every day because you become accustomed to the routine and not because of your happiness, but because you know, hey, it does what it got to do to get me where I got to be, quote unquote, but sometimes it doesn't even get you to the place that you got to be. I noticed that uh, being in a new location this summer, I've learned so much about myself. And it's taught me so much. In 2018, people still believe that black people are foreign in some points of the United States of America. Uh, I also learned that, you know, people feel like they have to adjust to you when nothing about you is different from them but the pigmentation of your skin color. I learned also that people will think that you come from a certain background because of the background that they associate with the skin pigmentation of your of you. And so I, I I began to, I was getting angry at first. And I was like, man, what? Like, this is in 2018, why? And I had to learn, y'all. I had to channel that energy. I can't stay nowhere where I'm not happy. I can make an impact while I'm here, but I can't change people's perceptions. I can't change how people feel. I can't make people feel what they don't want to feel. And so I had to, to find myself in that place where I challenge myself, not only challenge myself for me, but challenge myself for the people coming after me because because of the pressure I had to go on and because of how people received me and how all, all of this fell in line, man, if I had to do self-care, I would have lost my mind. And I'm usually not even a transparent person. I'm a very close person to some people. But in reality, I'm real open if you ask me. <laughs> maybe and maybe 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 you don't know my story because you ain't never asked me. Maybe you don't know I did with days like this because you ain't never asked me. So sometimes we gotta be that person, you know, where it's like we're not a quote unquote open book every day to everybody because everybody don't need to know your story, but the people that that should at least invest in your story should uh, 
people that truly I'm gonna worry that a little better, but people that truly people that truly care about you know that know that when you're in a place of isolation, you're going through something. People that don't know how you're really doing probably don't care enough. Because the truth of the matter is that they really care. They would check in. And not when they pick up the phone and start going on about them, but they would pick up the phone and say, hey, notice that you've been distant for a little while. I want you to know that I'm praying for you. I recognize that this I recognize that you were isolating yourself. I know you must be going through something because that's what you do when you get like this. I want you to know I'm praying for you. I want you to know that I'm pushing for you. I want you to know that if you're not okay, then we can talk. I want you to know that whatever decision you make, make sure you choose happiness. Those are the people that you need to keep connected with you during your self-care process. When you care for yourself, you do not move with funny people. Oh, that's a word for somebody. Child, if you love you, if you have taken care of self, you don't associate yourself with many people because you need a place, but you associate yourself with people that you know that even if it's just three of y'all rocking, y'all got a peace of mind because all of y'all add something to the room. Y'all may not add the same thing, but because it's a diverse group and because y'all are solid three or four, know that you will be good. I'm tired of people always trying to say that, you know, hey, I got plenty of people that know me. I said, well, I said, I might be a popular loner. People may know about me, but everybody don't know my story. I got a small circle, and I'm going to keep it that way. You know why? Because I need a circle that's going to be able to, and I'm leaning when I'm going this way and I'm going that way. They got to keep me propped up on everything inside, and I'm not a friend that's dependent on my friends. Where I got to every, each and every day, I got to be gaining something from them. They got to pour into me each and every day. But I feel like as in a friendship and I feel like in life you need to be surrounded by people that not only add to yourself but you add to their self. You know it tells us in the Bible that iron sharpens iron. So if you're around people that are not sharp, then how are you going to sharpen yourself? <sighs> I feel like preaching on this phone. And no, I'm not a preacher when it comes to, to you know, trying to push anything on anybody, but I know one thing that's very, very important. You got to know you. If you don't know you, then how can you expect somebody to want to know you? You can't expect it. People are not going to show you anything that you haven't shown them that you need to be worthy of showing them. <laughs> And not even that, the fact that nobody needs to know, no, it's not even the fact that people need you to tell them what your worth is, but show them what your worth is. When you walk in the room, how do you walk in there? Do you walk in the room with your head held down? Now, nah, if you're a boss, bosses don't walk in with their head held down. And I want to tell someone tonight, Stop looking for your worth in a relationship. Stop looking for your worth in a friendship. Stop looking for your worth in the job that you got. Stop looking for your worth in the car that you drive. Look for your worth within yourself and make sure that you are the best you and that you're cultivating that each and every day, struggle through struggle, situation through situation, process through process to understand that, baby, if you don't nourish you, you are not going to flourish you. So you've got to know that when you press on, you're not only pressing on for you, but you're pressing on for every black girl, every black boy, every whatever ethnicity that you are, you're pressing on for them. Ooh, I wish I was talking to somebody on this line that understood that you don't have to do it for nobody else. People are going to always have your opinions. I had my friend, one of my best friends, tell me yesterday, we were going to close. She was like, Destiny, like, for real, she was like, girl. People are going to forever have their own assumptions. She's a scientist. She's uh, studying to be a psychologist um, coming out in December, and she told me she said she wanted to talk to this young lady that literally within a matter of five seconds had two different opinions. She was walking to the library, and that person that she met outside the library told her that she looked good. She looked great. Like the weight that she had lost was great. And then she walked into the library, and people were another person so as she walked into the opposite side of the door, somebody said, mm, you need to lose weight. You need to go to the gym. You need to work out. You're getting big. Y'all, people, you cannot sit to 
in your emotions, you cannot censor your next step, you cannot censor your press, you cannot censor your purpose, you cannot censor your, censor your worthiness, you cannot censor your future, you cannot force, you cannot afford to forfeit anything that's going to bring you peace, joy, happiness, and love for people that's going to have opinions. Because I promise you, their opinions are going to be there whether you're there or you're not there. Because just how they have opinions about you, they have opinions about the next person that's coming through the door as well. So you got to make these decisions for yourself. And I was telling one of my friends yesterday, I was like, I said, she was struggling with trying to I know they're like, dang, she's got plenty of friends, but <laughs> I, I got a strong circle, man. I, I don't have like 30, 40 girls that I would consider my true friends, but I got a solid four or five that I keep close to me. And I mean, there's nothing I wouldn't do for them simply because that I know that they are people that add to me. <laughs> and when I say that, I mean like, man, when I'm having a bad day, I know that somebody I can call. So some of y'all got people in y'all phone right now that y'all can send to y'all personally. Y'all quick to put my girl or quick to put my guy or whatever it is, but you can't call them in an emergency. Somebody better say hello. If you can't pick up that phone and dial them when something is really hit rock bottom and you need help or you need a friend you need a shoulder to cry on and they can't be there to just listen to this when they can tell a story, I promise you, you are not in the right situation. And you got to reevaluate your circle. And you're like, why, 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 why she want to press on things that's going on? Because I know I've seen it so many times before. I didn't graduate from college. I know how people can get. I'm not that old, y'all, so we can relate. We can figure this out. And I, I really want to help you guys understand that a strong circle means a lot. Beyonce even wrote about it. And her song, y'all know that. So it's just kind of like, why, why, why do we constantly, why do we constantly struggle with things that God is trying to help us get away from? And you know, I like to be on his song, but this is all, that's my song, friends. That's my jam. Like y'all, like child, <laughs> that's my jam. And you know, what I like because she was like. No foes, real friends, we ain't even got to pretend. A lot of y'all got friends that just pretend because they want to hear what you got going on. If people would stick to the business that makes them money, then all of us would be millionaires. But instead, they get, they get so focused and bound and stuck in situations that ain't got nothing to do with them, that ain't writing them not one piece of check that's not including or adding to not one thing they have going on. Stick to the thing that adds to you and stop worrying about what somebody else has going on. If you swear and solemnly swear to stay in your own lane today, somebody better comment up on this video and say, I remain and I promise and I swear that I'm not going to stay, get out of my lane until I get to where I got to go. And even when I get to the finish line, I'm not going to serve into nobody else's lane because I know that my lane was ordained for me and my purpose is in my lane and my strength is in my lane and my struggles and my fights and all those things and all the things that help me become the person I am today is in my lane. So I'm not going to try to get in anybody else's lane because I know that I am great. Why should I worry? Why should I fear when I know that I am great? I'm not better than you. I'm just great. <laughs> I'm not trying to be better than you. We're not even in the same bracket. I'm not trying to be who you are because you are who you are. I'm just trying to be the best me that I can be in. You know, that is great. <laughs> y'all, y'all know this. All right, so she said, be honest with them this time. She said, they're going to pull me up and never let me down. They're going to pull me up and never let me drown. They're going to pull me up. I'll never hit the ground. How many of y'all got friends that y'all can call when we all about to drown? <laughs> Y'all about to do something crazy and y'all about to really mess with something y'all really about to, to get in a place that y'all know y'all need to be. Yeah. I'm talking to somebody. What really makes y'all happy? Are y'all really growing? Are y'all really becoming the best version of you? Because if you got friends that all of y'all are in the same predicament y'all was a couple of years ago, I need y'all to stop being friends. Not because of the fact that y'all are, you know, whatever, whatever. But if you got a group of friends that, one, you can't call an emergency. Two, it's always about them. Three, 
listen, man, it's always about that. Let's let's focus on that. If you got a friend that every time they pick up the phone, like I was telling y'all earlier, pick up the phone and be like, Oh girl, let me let me go down. They tell you all their struggles and you hang up the phone and you just sitting there, you weighed down by their stuff. And you already had your things going on. You didn't get it to talk about your stuff, so you didn't get to vent. But she's probably feeling lighter now because she was able to vent. And it's like, okay, I want to be that person, but you can't be that person every time. You can't do the same thing to them. Then, then, what's the process of self-care? What's, what's the process? Recognizing your struggles is number one. Two, Understanding that you will never receive healing from the same place that you will receive your scars. It's okay to forgive people that didn't apologize to you. Your strength is depending on you. Your peace is depending on you. It's okay to, to walk in a room with people that don't look like you and not be offended intimidated, or invalid. Because wherever you are in this person, in this process of your life, wherever you are, y'all, it's hard, man. I know it is. It's hard. I got a big decision that I'm making and that I've already made within myself, and so I'm going to make that decision uh, vocally, um, verbally, uh, whatever you want me to say. <laughs> I will be making that decision uh, on next Friday. I'm going to tell you guys all about it and let you know how the process is really hard to make that decision, but I had to do deep down inside what was best for me. I didn't care what that looked like to anyone. I didn't care who had their opinions about it because you don't have to live my life. You don't have to wake up in the morning and feel the things that I feel because you're not in my shoes. And even, if you put in my put, even if you were put in my shoes, you couldn't fight my fights and my struggles because you know what? Like I saw before, if you would have fought my battle, you probably would have killed you. But because of me, because I was destined for this journey, I know that I'm going to continue to fight. Don't worry. Ain't no worry. Ain't no worry. Oh, I like my favorite song is by, what's his name? Um, uh, OT Genesis or Genesis OT or whatever his name is. I can't think of it right now. Um, yeah, I think it's OT Genesis. Everybody mad. I like that song because, like, you know, hey, um, I'm getting money. That's why everybody mad. Maybe I'm getting too much money. That's why everybody mad. How about this? Get you some happy. That's why everybody's going to be mad. Get you a smile on your face. Maybe we're trying to figure out what's the remedy. How did you get that? Lip? How, how did you became? How did you become the person that you are now? Like, I want to vibe like her. I want to talk like her. I want to get it like her. Like, I'm not worried about how things are looking for me because, you know what, I'm a real one. Like, yeah, because I got my peace. That's probably why everybody mad. I'm getting too much peace. That's why everybody mad. I'm getting too much happiness. I'm getting too much joy. That's why everybody mad. Y'all, somebody on this line, you need to stop putting yourself in a box with everybody's assumptions. The only reason some people are telling you that you need to do this or do that is because that's the only thing they can see out of their box. When you're out in the box thinking, when you're a self care person, none of that stuff is a favor to you. The only thing that makes you happy. It's growth. That's the only thing that makes you happy, growth. If I can grow from it, I doggone sure can be something from it. And that's just the reality of it all. It don't, like, y'all, I've become so okay with me. It don't matter about how much money I make. <laughs> it doesn't matter how much, uh, it doesn't matter how much, you know, people feel they know about me. I don't care. I mean, you know, if it helps you, if you become better because of my struggles, if you become better because of who I am, so be it. I'm happy for you. I don't want nobody to be burdened down by me. I, I don't want that. You're too good for that. You too, you too good to be burdened down by assumptions because you'll never get any further if you keep moving by what where the wind blows. Keep playing people's opinions are playing tug of war with you. Sooner or later you're gonna be the one that's gonna end up hurt and everybody else is gonna be hurt and miserable too. If you if you 
do well in a miserable environment. You do well in a place where everybody's upset and everybody's broken, everybody's not healed, then you're going to remain that way as well. But once you make that choice that I'm going to take care of me, and I'm not, I'm going to rise above assumption, then you know that's just what it is. And so I want to encourage somebody tonight, like I said, to, to, to dwell into the self care part of things and to, to be the best version of you. Like I said, it's linear empowerment with your host, Destiny Hicks. I'm going to have a blog on this, so you guys get to see this in uh, print. Y'all going to be able to read my blog. I promise you it might drop too many y'all think. It might drop Friday when when uh, I make my big announcement. I may drop tonight, so stay tuned. Um, process why self-care necessary. I stay up. Stay the best version of you. Cultivate that. Understand that you got struggles just by everybody fighting and battling their own things. But that doesn't mean that you're not destined for great. When you're the best version of you, you're great. When you're struggling, you're still making it. You're still pressing. It doesn't make you any lack thereof because you are great and greatness is within you. Know that. Believe that. Stand on that. I love you guys. And tune in next Friday, same time. Talk to you soon. Yours.